What do you do when you're not sure? That's the topic of my sermon today. You look in God's direction and can't find it. Last year, when President Kennedy was assassinated, who among us did not feel the most profound disorientation? Despair. What now? Which way? What do I tell my kids? What do I tell myself? It was a time of people sitting together, bound by a common feeling of hopelessness. But think of that. Your bond with your fellow beings was your despair. It was a public experience shared by everyone in our society, and it was awful. But we were in it together. How much worse is it then for the lone man, the lone woman stricken by a private calamity? No one knows I'm sick. No one knows I've lost my last real friend. No one knows I've done something wrong. Imagine the isolation. You see the world as through a window. On one side there is happy, untroubled people. And on the other side, you. Something has happened and you have to carry it and it's incommunicable. For those so afflicted, only God knows their pain, their secret. Their secret of their alienating sorrow. And when a person as they must howls to the sky to God, help me! What if no answer comes? Silence. There are those of you in church today who know exactly of the crisis of faith I describe. And I want to tell you, doubt can be a bond as powerful and sustaining as certainty.